happy Monday to you. It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. On this video tutorial, we're going to be doing something really fun. I'm super excited about. Um, so I told you guys uh, a few days ago that when I was returning from a walk with my pups, I stumbled on an, a small area in our yard that had a ton of acorn caps. So I picked them up until my back was killing me. And um, we're gonna do a fun project with these and also with some vintage dictionary pages and also with some cream colored pom-poms and also with a little bit of glitter. So it should be super fun, really easy and um, yeah. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Um, I guess this is the time of year that acorns fall from the trees and most of the time the little acorn actually falls out of the cap and it gets yucky. Apparently sometimes they have worms in them, I don't know. Um, but I went outside and picked up a whole bunch of them and then just to make sure I didn't have any critters in here, I took all of the actual acorns that were remaining out, got rid of all the debris, the leaves and junk. And I put these on a piece of tin foil on a cookie sheet in the oven at 190 for like 30 minutes. Um, that got them completely dry. They're still a beautiful color, great texture. And um, as far as I can tell, these things are going to last for a long time. So now the really fun part comes as I was trying to decide what was one thing that I could do with them because I know I have so many there are many things that we will do with them in the future and the first thing that popped into my head i'm just grabbing a few was glitter looking for the biggest ones oh my word these are so pretty um and for some reason acorns must mostly be twins because almost all of my stems are doubles there's a few that are singles but um and some of them have really long stems. Must just be the variety of the tree that I have. That one's broken. Let's see if we can pull this one side off. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that popped into my head was glitter. And we're going to be working with some Mod Podge today. But you could use uh, white school glue, um, Elmer's glue, Eileen's tacky glue, any kind of Mod Podge, whatever you like. And um, we are first of all just going to paint the top, the, the cap part of our acorns. Um, and you can put this on pretty thick. It, it dries clear. These are so cute. And you can see a little sneak peek behind me hanging up what I'm working on. Oh my gosh, you know I love banners. I also love uh, bowl fillers so we're gonna do a little bit of both okay we're gonna say that one's good enough let me hold it up and show you I just very generously coated the cap part of these with some Mod Podge so what's everyone doing today um, I said happy Monday at the start of this video but if you're watching this on replay uh, I just want to say happy whatever day of the week it might be if you're not watching this live. So, okay, let's just get a couple of these coated because the next part is really fun and I want you to be able to see that. If you, um, okay, so if you don't have acorns where you live or it's too late or you just don't have access to them in your own yard, Here's a few suggestions. Think about what parks are nearby you um, or even parking lots and just be aware for the next little while because this is acorn time. Um, be a, on the lookout for acorns. You could also ask a lot around your friends, you know, post something on Facebook. Does anybody have acorns in their yard that I could come pick up? Um, as a last resort, I actually ordered some uh, for the, I'll show you this other project that we did in just a second. I ordered them some from Amazon like a month ago before 
I realized that I had this big of acorns in my yard and, because they had not fallen yet and I wanted to do these little mini birdhouse projects with wine corks. So let me just go grab that and I'll show you. So you can, you can ask around, find out who has them in their yard, go to a public park, a parking lot, just pick them up, but be, be sure if you're gonna get them in nature that you uh, cook them a little bit to get the critters out. Okay, this is what we made with the acorn caps that I had ordered from Amazon. They're little birdhouses. Oops, that one doesn't have one on it. And these acorns caps were much bigger than the ones that I have now, most of them anyways. So I made these and these are meant to go like sticking into a plant, like a couple of them as just little miniature bird houses. So just search, if you, if you need to purchase them on Amazon or Etsy, just search large acorn caps. And uh, they're not ridiculously expensive. Okay, so here's what I've got going. And I'm using this silver glitter which is from Walmart. It's Sulin Extra Fine Glitter in Sterling. Uh, but you can use whatever you have. If you like another color, then use another color for sure. I just love this silver look. I don't know, it looks so vintage to me. Like, I don't know, from the 30s, 40s, and 50s or something is what it reminds me of. So I'm, you can see I'm heavily pouring my glitter on, but we're not gonna waste all this glitter. I'll show you how to get it back in the container for the next project. Okay. That is what you get. I'll shake the excess off. Put them over here to dry. And then I'm just going to fold my paper plate carefully in half, just like a little siphon. And I'm just pouring my glitter right back into the container. And it will be ready to go for another glitter opportunity. Okay, along the same lines, I also took some just natural colored paper, or not paper clips. Um, sometimes I just can't find the word. A clothespins. And I glittered one side of them, thinking that I might want to use them for this project back here, which I did. I ended up using some of the little ones. Okay, so then after... These are dry. I went outside. I didn't want glitter falling all over the place. I went outside and I sprayed a couple of coats of clear matte sealer over the top of them um, when they were fully dry and that keeps the glitter from falling off. It really does not change how they look. But I think this is important if you want the glitter to stay on and not be all over the floor. Okay. So, then, this is what I had. And these are all glittered and ready to go. And then I just got my hot glue gun out, which I'm using a low temperature hot glue gun called a Sherbonder Cool Shot. Uh, super inexpensive. Mine came from, I uh, bought several of them over the last, couple of years, either Walmart or Hobby Lobby, and they were under $10. And then I wanted to make the little acorn bodies, um, and I love the look of the felted acorn bodies, but th they're a lot of work. So I just thought, what do I have that looks kind of similar? And what popped into my mind was this, uh, these pom-poms. So I'm just going to cut a couple of them off. These are my colors too. So, you could trim them smaller, you could get different sizes. 
These pom-poms are a little bit on the large size for this project, but they work just fine. Okay. So what do you guys think so far? Hey, Tabitha. Hi, Billy. Hey, Kelly. Looks like lots of you guys are on. Here's a little sneak peek of where we're going. So stay with me because this is just the first step of a few. They're all super simple. And um, other than the acorn caps themselves, you may already have everything else that you need if you're a crafter. If you don't have the acorn caps yet, go on a hunt for them. Okay, I'm just going to fill the cap up with some glue and then I'm going to stick a pom-pom into it and push it in there good. And there is my acorn. Um, and here's one with two. So I'm gonna fill the cap with a good amount of glue, stick my little pom-pom into one side, push it in there really good. Let's do the other side. At first I was annoyed when I realized that almost all of the acorn caps that I had found were twins. They had two on them. But then um, the more I started playing with them, the more I thought that actually they're, they're really nice. I like them this way. Cute, huh? Let's do another Z. So, like I was saying just a few minutes ago, oh, RJ Edwards says, I love how clear you explain everything. I've maybe over explained a little bit, I'm sorry. I should have been a teacher. Um, if you don't like the proportion that uh, of my pom-poms are to my acorn caps, um, go to the fabric store or to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Joann's or whatever and look for some pom-poms in whatever color you like that are a little bit smaller. Um, or you can make the felt balls, but I think those are a little bit more complicated than just cutting a pom-pom off of the garland. <laughs> They're a lot more complicated. So th these have been glittered and sprayed and they're fully dry and now I'm gluing the pom-poms into them. I'm really pushing them in. I am gonna have glitter everywhere <laughs> for days. I can already see it's like in my eyebrows. Uh, <sighs> it just, it is, it has a way of invading every space that it can. But once you apply the clear matte sealer to your, spray it over your glittered little acorn caps, it doesn't seem to fall off as much. Okay. I'm going to show you this one. On some of my acorn caps, I did a better job of getting the, eight, the glitter everywhere. Not so much on this one, but I don't think it matters. So don't sweat it if you don't have that exactly perfect. Okay, here's our little glittered uh, acorn pom-pom acorn things. And I have a whole bunch of them right here. That I've been working on. Okay. So then the next thing is we're going to make some leaves for a garland. All right. And I just went onto Pinterest and I searched for maple and oak leaf drying printables free. And this is what I came up with. I did alter them a little bit because I wanted them to be symmetrical so I could just cut half out. And then I'm working with this book, which was my mamoose. She was my grandmother. She was a teacher and she loved books. And she gave me these 
uh, vintage it's a dictionary, New Century Dictionary. Many years ago, it sat, it sat in a cabinet for years. And then I started to notice that I was liking all these uh, crafts that had vintage book pages. And so I dug them out and discovered that these are great to craft with. And I think, I know some people have a problem with cutting up books, but it was just sitting, not being loved in a drawer. And now I'm loving it. And also I've blessed a lot of other people with pages from my Nanu's books. So I, I think it's okay. Now, I don't know. I probably would not cut up a Bible. But I'll cut up old sheet music, old books, old dictionaries, encyclopedias, that kind of thing. Okay, and I'm folding mine in half because if you notice, mine has this... Uh, can you see that, that, just that divide down the center? And I want to take advantage of that. And um, I have my two, this is a maple leaf and this is an oak leaf. And what I'm gonna do is I am just, I folded it in half and I'm just folding it in half over my paper. Can you see that? And I'm gonna cut this smaller, it'll be easier to work with. So this is, I don't know, two or three at the same time and I'm only cutting half out because I folded it in half and then folded it over the fold. And you don't have to be exact in cutting exactly around your shape. No two leaves are the same, right? In nature or in crafting. So this project that we're doing here could be switched up um, to go with your style. If you like, you know, bright colors, then you could get pom-poms that were a bright, bright color. Uh, you can use all different kinds of uh, paper. Um, this is just, this is my style, but I most of the time I'm doing these crafts, it's to give you an idea um, of what you can do in your style to go in your decor. So here's a bunch of leaves that we just cut out, easy. And I would do the exact same thing with this one, with the other piece. Well, let's do it, what the heck. We have time, right? It's easier if you get rid of some of the excess before you start cutting. And this old paper is kind of yellowed. I don't know what it looked like originally. Um, it's also pretty thin, so it's easy to cut through multiple um, layers. But if you don't have something like this, it could be an old Reader's Digest. It could be a new book from Dollar Tree. It could be some craft paper. Um, it could be some scrapbook paper. It could be absolutely whatever you like. And there are my, my um, oak leaves. Okay, so then also I wanted to just anchor my project with a couple of these big burlap leaves from, um, these came from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to take two of my oak leaf shapes. And I'm just gonna glue them on the top. And we're just gonna add to what I already have going on behind me. So I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, and then what I did was I just selected a couple of these oak leaves to put my acorns on. Oops. And um, 
I'm just gonna glue them about halfway. I'll hold this up so you can see. And we're gonna glue them on our piece of twine, sort of winky wonky, winky wonky. So let me do one more. I want another single with the long, longish stem. And then I'm gonna grab two clothespins that I glittered with Mod Podge and the same glitter, and I sprayed them also, just the same. And let me show you what we've got so far. I will get close-up pictures also. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? Yep. Okay, so I think we're going to go this direction since I have more string open to use going this way. And let me untie my little knot. And then I'm going to put this on my mantle. Um, but I have some ideas for bowl fillers. So I have a bowl back here and I want to play with that a little bit too. So stay with me. Um, this is the the... The way I have this now with the cream and the natural color and a little bit of the silver glitter, I think this, it could be Christmas, but it's also sort of a, a nice fall, I think. Okay, so what I was doing was I was doing, when I need to glue this on here a little better, um, I was doing, um, A big one and then two different plain uh, pieces of paper let me look I want to re continue repeating my pattern so I have that one so let's do another just an oak leaf here can you guys see what I'm doing by the way, if you're watching on Facebook and um, the comments at the bottom of the screen are in your way, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. I'm so sorry. But you can. You can just use either your finger, your mouse, or your cursor to swipe them left or right or up or down, and they should disappear. You may come back and add the little acorns to every time that we have an oak leaf. Um, yeah, I think we will. So I'm going to glue this one on now. And then I'm pretending like this little clip is what is holding it up, but really it's just a decoration on there. So let's do one more of these little guys that I've got all ready to go right here. And then we'll, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll move over to the bowl, the dough bowl filled with... Um, I have a variety of things in there, some rattan balls, a couple pine cones. I should have gone down in the basement to get more fluff, but I was wanting to get this to you quickly because I was so excited about it. So I may go back and go downstairs and grab some more things. You are likely to get hot glue on your fingers doing this project. Here's the proof. 
And that's why I definitely recommend that you use a low temperature hot glue. So, here is the project. I will hang it up in my family room on the mantle. Let's hang it up right now. And um, I will get some pictures. This is going to be super long. I may also add one more section to it and fluff it just a little bit, but you get the general idea. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so let's bring our bowl over. And um, I did have a I did have a, um, a ribbon on this that was black and white, and then I had a green painted leaf to go with all these little green picks. But what we're gonna do since we're doing the silver look is we're probably just going to add some little fillers like the leaves. And I was thinking that I would do Maybe a garland of leaves across the tummy of the candle. Let's start that. I'm just going to glue some pieces together. did not pre-do this part of this craft today. And usually I practice and get things, oh gosh, do I have glue strings in my hair now? Yes, I do, I can see it. Um, but I'm just gonna wing it. And that works. I need one more piece be able to have this go all the way around and not need to be glued actually to the candle because I want to be able to redo this candle a hundred different ways. So there we go. This is like a paper version of a candle garter. Okay, and then that a little bit flatter and then I could use some because I'm a repurposer you know I can't stand to waste anything um, let's use this that we took our pom-poms off of but let's just trim off these little well actually those could be interesting on here no I'm going to trim them off and then we'll put some of the little um, acorns on it and we'll also put some acorns and some paper in our dough bowl. So I'm just trimming off the little things that had the pom-poms on them that we cut our pom-poms off of. Obviously, I have a very big glitter mess happening here. do a separate leaf that has this on it or we could just take some of our little I think that's what we'll do we'll just add some of these right here do I have a 
battery in here. Yes. Okay. So here's the start of our dough bowl. Um, and then we could add some more little leaves, a variety of different Honestly, I need more filler in here, but I think you get the idea. I need to just grab some more stuff and fluff from the basement, but we could throw a bunch. Um, we could put some more of these in here, and here's another one more idea, and then I'll, I'll finish it up off screen and show you the results after. Let's... See what it looks like to add just a smidge of glitter on some of the pine cones. That'd be pretty. I did this about 10 years ago. I think with my kids, we just painted the tips of our pine cones with white paint. But you can also just paint the tips of your pine cones. I'll show it up with um, whatever glue you're using, and then you can sprinkle a little bit of glitter over it. And it looks almost like maybe it's snowed glitter recently or something. could also be hung on our banner if they were smaller. So those are just the start of some ideas for you. Um, I hope you liked this idea of using these, um, these acorn caps from my yard that I baked to get the critters out. I baked them for about 30 minutes on 190 or 200. Um, how we could make something fun using some pom-poms, a little glitter, these acorn caps, some Mod Podge, and um, some old book pages, and create something fun for fall. So, I have a humongous mess here <laughs> to clean up. Um, thank you so much to everybody who sent stars. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'm going to get my craft room cleaned up. I'm going to do something about this huge glitter problem that I have, and then um, I'll get pictures. I'll finish everything up and put it on my uh, mantle so that you can see that, and I'll get some more fluff for our bowl, fill that all out. I might do some more pine cones, and um, I'll show you what that all looks like. Now, if you guys decide to do this, I would love to see what, um, what your project turns out like. So feel free to share it over at the group that I set up for all of us to share our craft projects in. It's free, it's Dreamy, D-I-Y, that's D-R-E-A-M-Y space, D-I-Y. You can just put that in your search bar on Facebook. It's a free group. Um, you feel free to hop over there, ask to join. Do be sure to answer the questions because we can't say yes to let you in if you don't. The questions are, will you be nice? Of course you will. We're nice people. Do you, um, will you agree not to try to use that group as a place to sell makeup or wreaths or whatever you happen to do and will you agree not to share other crafters videos there if you say yes we'll say come on in you can um, take a few hours seriously to look through all the amazing projects that other crafters have shared in our group 
Um, so I'd love to see what you do there. If you want to see what I have coming up this week here at DIY Dreaming, be sure to look to see if you've uh, liked and followed DIY Dreaming and turned on your notifications. And then this helps, that's a heart, or this, or saying something in the comments. Those things all in combination help Facebook to know that you're interested. It's what they consider engagement. And um, if you have liked and followed and turned on your notifications and then engaged, they're more likely to show you the projects and the pictures and things that I share here more regularly. All right, well, there's your Facebook lesson for the day. <laughs> The mystery of the thing we call Facebook or now what do we call it meta or data or something like that anyways um, I hope you liked what we did with our little acorn caps I think that they turned out pretty adorable and I have lots more fun things coming up this week so I hope that I'll see you for all of those I'll probably will be back later today with another craft project so look for me again today it's okay, so um, one of my followers here says she can't find dreamy DIY, and that's because you don't have a space in between those two words. So just put it in the search bar here at Facebook, dreamy, D-R-E-A-M-Y, space, D-I-Y, and um, it should pop up. Alrighty, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you later.